Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today we're doing a post-rotation deck video on Zygarde Lycanroc, which was a deck that of course saw play at the World Championships, and everyone was rooting for Clive, everyone wanted him to win against Zoro Garb, and oh my gosh, dude, that comeback by Robin, I, bruh, no words can describe, I mean, you'd, you'd think Zygarde Lycanroc could be an auto-win, but... It's, it's insane um, how the comeback was made. Sadly, Zygarde didn't win Worlds. I really wanted Zygarde to be the world's winning deck, but looks like Zoark Garboder takes the win, which I'm fine with. I actually like Zoark Garboder more than your usual Zoark deck because it plays a lot more differently than a lot of Zoark decks that's just trade, ace, roll, a puzzle, trade, trade, ace, roll. You know what I mean? So I'm actually a fan of the Zoark Garboder deck, so I'm not too upset it won. If any Zoark deck would have won, I'm glad it was that. Um, I wish Zygarde Lycanroc would have won, but we're going to look at it in the new format here, in the Sun and Moon on format, and once again, we're going to be using that Macargo engine from the last video, using Macargo with Lily and Kikui, and we're using Acrobike too, so we're going to be trying out this engine a little bit more, um, and we're going to see how it works, so of course, Zygarde GX is a very decent card, um, you know, it made top 4 at Worlds, for a DC, you do 50 damage, Attach two fighting energies from your discard pile's Pokemon. Very strong attack. Great way to load it up. Can help you if you're playing against like a mill deck or something like Zoar Control. You have Lands Wraith, which isn't bad. But the big thing that Zygarde has though is it's a GX attack verdict. So prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX during your opponent's next turn. This is a very strong GX deck. Now there's obviously a very good combo you get to do with this, but verdict is good because if you're playing against an all GX deck, which most of the time you will be. Yeah, they're not going to be able to damage you, and you can probably take up to four prizes before they even get to damage Zygarde. Even if they do, Zygarde has a whopping 200 HP. This thing is very bulky. 200 HP is a lot of health to have, so Zygarde can take a hit or two. It's definitely good. The worst thing it has going for it is that grass weakness. Stuff like Galissapod and maybe Shiftry, um, they'll kind of shred this guy. So we'll have to see how it works for us. Um, this deck does, of course, have one big weakness, and that is that grass weakness. Um, but we are paired with Lycanroc. Lycanroc is a good partner for Zygarde with the ability to Bloodthirsty Eyes. Um, being able to bring something up into the active is a very good ability. You also have Claw Slash and Dangerous Rogue. Dangerous Rogue is an amazing backup attack. In this new format, it's not as good thanks to Strong Energy Weaving, um, but it's still really nice to have anyways. We do have Claw Slash, which can be good. So Lycanroc proves to be a great backup attacker and a nice ability to be have. Um, of course, we have our baby Buzzwool, because baby Buzzwool is good with Sledgehammer. We got Diancy Prism Star here, with the ability Princess Cheers. Obviously, we're going to play this just for the ability. That new Wobbuffet that's coming out is going to be huge for some of these decks. But yeah, Diancy is amazing with fighting types. Let's your Zygarde damage do even more. Um, or do even more damage. That almost made no sense. Now, if I were to add anything else to this deck, I was looking at some other Zygards here. Um, the big one could be this Zygarde with uh, Calm Strike. For fighting a DC, you do 60. If you use your GX attack, this attack does 60 more damage. Um, we did a Zygarde Drampa deck a while back using this card. But we're now going to... We can always use this GX attack again in the future. But this, yeah, this is a very good... Um, this is a good attack for a you know fighting DC on a non-GX Pokemon. With a good amount of HP, this is a very strong attack to have. Um, and yeah, in a deck like this, you might Dangerous Rogue early on anyways. So who knows? That could be another backup attacker. Of course, we are going with that Macargo engine from the last video. I really think this Smooth Over, Lily, Acrobike, Kikui engine has some really big potential in this new format for draw support. People are really sleeping on that idea, so I'm just going to keep pushing it out. This Macargo engine is probably going to be in a lot more of my decks. Just, just expect that. It's basically going to replace Octillery in my eyes. Uh, but we're going to use that Smooth Over engine with Kikui. Uh, we can even use Cephalokies, but there's a bigger reason why we play... Acrobike and Cephalokies, not just, I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. There's a bigger reason why we have them in the deck, and that's for Cell Connectors. Um, we want to get energy in the discard pile for Cell Connector. The idea is, first turn, we hit him for 50 with Cell Connector, and then we build energy up from playing cards like Cephalokies or Bikes and Ultra Balls to get energy in the discard so Zygarde can hit hearts. So that's the idea there. Uh, we are playing a Ranguru and Lele, but now we go to the items now. We are playing two or three Acrobikes. Not only can it get energy in the discard pile for Zygarde, it also counts with uh, um, your boy, your boy, Macargo. We are playing one Nest Ball. We do have three Brooklyn Hills, but Nest Ball can still get us, like, an extra Pokemon on the bench or gets a Slugma. Um, st this is insane, though. Nest Ball is so expensive right now, it's nuts. This card is going for quite a bit of packs, I think. 
up to like five or so, maybe six packs right now. It's definitely going to rise in the future. I would 100% try and stock up on as many nest balls as you can because these things are going to be a little expensive. I mean, they're probably going to, nest ball could match the price of like field blower and rescue stretcher soon. So yeah, I just, I would advise stocking up on nest balls. We are playing one switch. We got our four ultra balls, of course. We are playing three broken hills, obviously for Pokemon, but we also use with Bonnie. Bonnie is a great attack, a great attack. What am I saying? A great card with Zygarde, of course, being able to discard a stadium and play and then Zygarde GX gets this attack back, or it's GX attack back. So then you get to use Verdict GX twice in a game. And this is really good. If you've already used Dangerous Rogue, this means you can use Bonnie and then use Verdict again. So we are going to play two Bonnies. Palpad's also a good one of them in this deck. Three Cynthia's for draw. We got our three Guzmas. Don't need to go four because we have the Lycan Rocks. We got two Lilies, two Kikuis. Kikui can be really good with Zygarde. Think about it. A DC, a Choice Band, and a Kikui, and a Diancie. You're going to hit Zoark GX and KO them in one hit, just for the DC. So Kikui's great, but again, you get to use Makargo, but it's really good to hit better numbers with Verdict and Land Raid, because they are a little shy on knockouts, so it's nice to have the extra damage. Um, we got one Fall Keys, again, great draw card for this type of a deck with Makargo, but you can get energy in the discard. For Self Connector, two Taint Lives, though, one of the best draw scores. We got three Choice Bands for the 30 damage. I am going to play one Escape Board, still a good card to have in my opinion. We got nine basic fight energies and four DCs. So yeah, this is my Zygarde Macargo Lycanroc list, or my Zygarde Lycanroc list. I like this deck quite a bit. Again, it does suffer from pretty awkward matchups against grass decks, but who knows? Verdict GX can ride you sometimes to the game. I mean, if you run into Bulu or Galissapod or, you know, Leafeon or something, rip in the chat, I guess, but you can try and use Verdict. We do have stuff like Baby Buzzwill and Lele also, which can put in work too, so not a horrible loss but yeah let's go find some matches of the deck on pcg we'll see if we find any post rotation games so i'll catch you guys in just a sec all right guys here we go we're actually gonna do friend matches i tried finding games three of them though in a row were breakthrough and on on the ladder after worlds so i don't know what you're doing if you're still playing breakthrough and on on the ladder doesn't make any sense there's literally no point anymore so it's a little annoying and three of the games in a row were against Breakthrough Dawn. So I'm instead going to be doing two different friend matches against two different people. So that's going to be the case. So yeah, we are going to see. We do get a decent starting hand. Turn one Lily seems to be the new um, kind of thing right now. We'll see. We are playing against a Malamar deck. Malamar could be problematic depending on how it plays out. Verdict might be our best friend here, especially if he's playing. Oh, no, he's playing Rayquaza. Hmm. Ooh, Rayquaza, Dragonair. All right, interesting build for sure. Uh, Rayquaza's got a lot of interesting partners uh, post rotation right now. It's got a lot of interesting partners. Obviously, Vikavolt seems to be the one on everyone's radar. Turbo Ray is kind of gone. Ooh, they don't even get a Rayquaza. And we top deck a Zygarde. So that's really good. Um, you put down, I think, Rockruff. I don't mind building up Lycanroc here. I don't think they really play any stadiums. I think it's safe to get rid of a Brooklyn Hill. We're going to probably grab Lele here for Lily. We can always draw into our Switch. Um, but I'm actually looking to attach an energy to Rockruff. Lycanroc might be a big player in this matchup. Especially against... Um, like, Rayquaza's bench will be full because they want to have a full bench of Rayquazas. So, Dangerous Rogue is going to be a huge card in this matchup. So, I'm looking... For an energy, and we do find it. Nice. So we can attach to Rockruff. We can Nest Ball for, I guess, Slugma seems fine. And we'll hold the hand for next turn. Hopefully, we can maybe get like a Guzma so we can Claw Slash next turn. But our hand is pretty decent right now. We are sitting on Cephalic Keys. We could play this too if we want. We can maybe dig for a, uh, you know, maybe hit my cargo and then Acro Bike Smooth Over, get Switch. So we have a lot of options here. My opponent will go Dragonair this turn, it looks like. Yep, there's a switch. So they're going to go in with Dragonair. Um, Dragonair will be able to attach the number of energies they want. But we'll have to see if they get any Ray Quazas down this turn. Um, Dragonair does get hit pretty hard with rotation. There is, of course, Lily, uh, Lily, Lady in the format, which grabs you four energy cards from your deck. So they have that option. They can also combo with energy retrievals and Ultra Balls and stuff like that. So, but Professor's Letter is a huge loss for Dragonair, so we'll have to see. They only have one energy in the discard. They're most likely going to get a Rayquaza here, but they fill their bench up. We Dangerous Rogue them, and I'm happy. But also, Verdict is pretty good here. 
Uh, we can one-shot Rayquaza with the Choice Band, and we also make it so they can't damage us. Seems good. Um, Alright, so we drew an energy, which is decent. Um, okay. I'm not really a fan of getting rid of Choice Band, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to keep Choice Band. I think we're gonna have to get rid of Acro Bike. I don't want to, but I need to keep Choice Bands. And, oh wow, okay, not really anything great there either, which is not good. I think I will have to evolve into Lycanroc here, um, just to avoid getting, potentially, like, my Rockruff getting KO'd. Lycanroc at least has enough health to maybe take a hit. I don't really know where to put this energy, though. I don't, I, I can attach to a Ranguru. Or I can just hold off on attaching. I don't know. I mean, I could do Psychic here if I really want. I mean, I guess we'll attach here. Maybe do Psychic? I don't... Well, we're not even going to knock out Dragonair. I mean, we could maybe get a Kiwi top deck. I mean, I guess? I don't know. I don't really know where to put this. I mean, okay, guess the Rangru how we'll have to do for now. Drawing into a choice band off that means I could have kept the acro bike to maybe help us out. It's fine though. Its hand isn't that like it's it's bad. But if we can maybe get a Guzma, we can bring out a Rayquaza and knock it out. He does of course have Dragon's Wish still active. He's gonna get rid of a Dragonair. And ooh, a Guzma of his own. That's pretty good. So they're gonna grab an Oranguru. Still no Rayquazas have hit the board yet, which is good. Um, obviously, we don't want to see Rayquaza come down, but they're probably going to get one. They can also activate Rayquaza's ability. They're going to go switch back into Dragonair, and they're going to do another Dragon's Wish, it looks like, which is fine. Obviously, you know, they're going to build up energy. Ooh, Wish of Baton. This is scary. We don't have a way to stop that. This list doesn't play Field Blower, which is something maybe you should play, but yeah, we don't have Field Blower in the Zygarde list. Maybe we do need it. Maybe it is considerably good for Wishful Baton, especially maybe if we play against, like, a Zoark deck, they might have a, uh, weakness policy, per se. So who knows. Uh, my opponent will do Treasure. Definitely gonna get Rayquaza down. They'll use his ability, so they're gonna build up some energy this turn, um, which is fine. Technically, I maybe could have saved the energy here, and, ooh, he got rid of another Guzma. That's a really good discard to see, in my opinion. So that's good. Stretcher is also a nice discard. Um, they got rid of a Lady, which is another big one. So that was a pretty big Rayquaza. And we drew a Buzzwolf, so not that great. They only have one card in hand also, something to note. They do have Instruct, though, so I guess it doesn't matter. I don't really know what to do. I don't really want to waste this energy on a Ranguru. I think I have to pass. This hand is kind of unplayable. I, if I attach and I Psychic him, we won't KO him, and he might knock me out with Rayquaza. I lose the energy, and if I don't get an energy next turn, then I can't take a Dangerous Rogue knockout. So it's better to save the energy, I think. It's better to save it. We're going to have to hold off for now. Ooh, Judge will help, though. Judge is definitely a good card to see. That could help me, especially if we get Macargo or Kiwi or something. We're basically golden. No, we got a bunch of rubbish. I mean, okay, we have Switch. So, we'll be able to go knock out Rayquaza, potentially, if he goes into it. Not a not a great hand. Ooh, Pal Patch. So, they're going to be able to get back those Guzmas, it looks like. They might get back Guzma and Cynthia. We'll have to see. No, they're not getting Guzma. And I'm actually fine with that. I'm fine with them not getting Guzma back. Because that is one way to get around my uh, verdict, I guess. They play a Sky Pillar. So, there's that. So, they're going to do another Dragon's Wish. Drew another fighting oh my goodness this is one of those positions where you just got to draw a pass so even a point in bumping the stadium i don't even think there is might honestly be better to hold this because i mean if he knocks out a ranguru next turn or maybe brings out down to your slugma knocks it out or even lele then we can brooklyn hill for a, a baby buzz so i think we got to hold this for now unfortunately baby buzz will with a choice band won't ko him unless we find kakui to follow up with He's building up a lot of energy, though, which is not good. So, we're in trouble. We do have Dangerous Rogue, though. So, if we can top pick one of our Guzmas, we'll be able to bring out Rayquaza, KO it with Dangerous Rogue. Go from there. They do have a Lily, though, so they're going to be able to Lily. We're definitely going to be in trouble next turn, though. Their hand is big enough to find Guzma. So, we're going to be threatened next turn. 
Another Whistle Baton. Again, we have no way to stop that. We don't play any uh, Field Blowers. All right. Bruh. These draws are so poor. I barely even played half of the cards I need. Oh my goodness. This is awful. It might honestly be better to maybe switch out into Tapu Lele. Because... Maybe even Dionce. Dionce might be a better choice because the problem here is, like, Oranguru is one of the cards that can help us. I c can do Instruct this turn, but there's really nothing to do about it. I don't feel like Instruct's a play. I think we'll wait a turn. I can do Instruct, I know. I can do it, but I'm going to hold off on it. I don't want to retreat into Lele and then not be able to go back out. Okay, another Cynthia. Okay, so our bench is safe once again unless they play, like, Pokemon Catcher. There is a second Rayquaza, so Rayquazas are coming down. Once we can get the Macargo engine going, we'll be able to find what we need. It's just all down to can we draw out of this. But I'm fine with them knocking me out. I honestly don't... I think they know that if they knock out a Ranguru, they're going to walk into a Dangerous Rogue, or even a Verdict. So I think they know what's going on right now. Okay, Devoured Field, alright. That's fine. I'm glad I did hold the Brookwood Hill then. I think next turn we will have to maybe go into Lycanroc. No, they're gonna danger. <laughs> they're running low on cards too. Oh my gosh, dude. <sighs> oh my gosh. This is actually. This is sad. I might, I might just go into Diancy, guys. I might do it. I feel like Diancy is doing nothing. Ah, oh, man. I don't know how we're not drawing anything. We can get Macargo. Macargo would be great. We can get Cynthia. Ultra Ball would be amazing. Oh, my gosh, guys. These draws are something else. I think we're going to go into Dionce. Does he have any stadiums left? It's my question. So, we'll do this. He, we'll shuffle the deck. Maybe maybe the shuffle does something. Oh, we can't do it right. Where bench is full. Never mind. I thought you could still play Broken Hill even with a full bench. Never mind. I'm just going to... I mean, the problem is, if I lose a Ranguru and I still don't draw anything, we did lose potentially one of the ways to draw out of this. Um, Lycanroc is not safe next turn. No, he's gonna copy tap me for three. My opponent not palpating those Guzma's bag is definitely coming to hurt them. Because they need Guzma here to probably bring out Lycanroc and KO it. They're just dang wow, this is just this is a stallmate. Oh my gosh, dude! What are these draws? Come on! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually going insane. There's so many cards I can draw right now, but I just can't draw them. I actually don't get why I'm drawing so poorly. I don't understand. The more I draw, like, the more Lycanrocks I draw, I can't play them, and I can't do Instruct, so... I don't... Ah, man, this is so unlucky right now. We'll see if my opponent has Guzma. If they kill Lycanroc, this is bad. No, they're just getting Dragon's Wish again. Very excited. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't even want to play that because I don't want to get field blower and I need I need choice band for verdict to one shot Rayquaza. At this point I probably could have played the fight energy and wow this is a very exciting match. It's kind of just down to who can draw what. <laughs> we drew a supporter, but it's not we can't play it. It's gotta pass. I nothing I can do guys. This is so boring. So boring. They are going to do Fishermen, so they're going to be able to get back. Ooh, well, they only have one energy. Never mind. I was like, do they have four? They're going to be able to finally take a knockout here, but... But, I mean, yeah, they'll retreat. But again, Dangerous Rogue will hit the board. We'll get knocked out in return. Ooh, no, they're going to Dragon Wave me. Yikes. Okay. So, they're going to be stuck in the active, which is good. They, they play two switches. So, I 
could do Cell Connector this turn and hope they stay in the active spot. I guess that's my play. Finally. A little, I mean, a little, too, a little too late, but whatever. Yeah, I think it's fine to do Cell Connector. I think it is fine to play Cell Connector. It always trips me out with Tain Lysers. I think the big text bubble at the end is thing, but it's not. Oh, we didn't get energy. Still no Macargos. Where are my boys at? We'll hope he doesn't retreat. Um, and then we have to hope we hit an energy. And then we can do uh, Verdict next turn. Knock him out. Be immune to Rayquaza. And then do Bonnie. Verdict again. That's going to have to be the play. Though I would like to do Dangerous Row before I do Verdict. Because Bonnie specifically states here. Zygarde gets his Jex tech. Not you get your Jex coin flipped over in general. We just gotta hope they don't retreat. Sucks I didn't get energy though. We do have Guzma, so if I can maybe top take an energy, I will finally be able to do Oh gosh, no. I didn't expect Ace Rolla. Dude, these bad draws, dude. Why do I have to draw so badly right now? This is ridiculous. These You can see how these bad draws are screwing me over so bad right now. This is insane. We're gonna lose at this point. Alright, we're gonna lose. We're not gonna be able to win. We're not going to be able to win, guys. I don't feel like we have it in us. Can I stall the Oranguru out? I might be able to. Still only play two Guzmas, though. That's my problem. This sucks, dude. This game would have been so much better if we weren't drawing so poorly, but whatever. I could Guzma up the Oranguru. Maybe I can stall it? Again, I just played two Guzmas, but... Is it... I don't know if it's worth it. This was a pretty horrible game. We didn't even get to show off my cargo, which I don't really like. Oh, man. Let's go for it. Let's try and stall Goose. Let's try and stall that Oranguru. Let's see if this actually works. If this works, you know what? We're good. If this works. Let's let's find out. We'll see. They have five cards left. They did take two prizes, so ugh, they could get a um they could get a, uh, what's his face? A, uh, their Guzma off that. Maybe they are playing multiple copies of, uh, Palpatch, so they can always just shuffle Guzma's back, but we'll see. I might even honestly need to buy some time here. I might need to buy time, because, 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 we need to build up energy. We're gonna need to do Dangerous Rogue, and then maybe follow up with a Verdict to maybe have a shot of winning this game. Maybe. So that, that I have to, I have to maybe buy some time. I think that's my last resort right now. Yes, okay, it worked. Uh, we'll do Cynthia. Can we finally get the Macargo combo going? We're, we really need that. Okay, we got it. Nice. Ooh, Skateboard's a big card, too. Uh, everything in this hand I kind of need, though. I mean, I guess we give it to Bonnie, because we do have the Macargo combo for next turn. That's good. It's good, 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 good. All right, all right. Things are looking up. We can also guarantee to get us a card. And I think I'm going to get a... Ooh, we're out of basic fightings. One, two, three. We have three in play. Three in the discard. So three fightings are prized. Rip. Alright, we're going to attach a DC to Zygarde then. I really want to build up a Zygarde here. So we'll instruct for the card. We'll DC Zygarde. And the next turn... If we can draw into a card that we can play down from our hand, which, I mean, we still have a few cards, so that can definitely happen. I can Dangerous Rogue Rayquaza, and then Lycron goes down, and I keep up the combo, then I do a Verdict. So that's going to be the plan. So the stall tactic might work, guys. The stall tactic may work. Let's see. So yeah, my game plan next turn. Draw a card that hopefully I can play from my hand. Do Instruct for the flat, for my other DC. Go into Lycanroc, Dangerous Rogue Rayquaza, um... Ooh, they're gonna retreat. Okay, we might have to just panic and go verdict. Well, it might not, they, do they even have any energies left? They played so many. They have played so many energies. They have two in the discard, and they have, I don't even want to count. Okay, eight, 
11. Oh, yeah, they're definitely out of energy. There's no way they have any energies left. They might have one escape board in their deck, though. We'll see. If Ranguru goes down, this could screw my plan up. Okay, can it be a card we can play from our hand? Maybe. Oh, you know what? I could have smoothed over and done Acro Bike. What? I didn't do that. Oh. Oh, major rip in the chat. Okay. I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah, I'm an idiot. I why did I do that? I could have smoothed over. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'm an idiot, dude. I'm actually I totally forgot about the acro bike macargo combo. I'm gonna ah, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll do the Kikui play now. And then I guess next turn we'll do the danger throw. <laughs> uh, I feel like an idiot for not doing that. Oh, Alright. DC Lycanroc. And we'll pass. And then hope we don't get killed. This could... Oh man, dude. If I actually didn't do that misplay, I might have been in a better spot. Oh man, rip. If he takes a prize this turn, oh, I'm going to feel like a big idiot for doing that, guys. I'm going to feel like a big idiot for that. Ooh, they got resource management. They got your boy. So that's, gee, that's going to be a game changer. They, yeah, they get back their, they basically get back their Guzmas. But again, they might be stuck in the active. They got three cards left. I, no sign of a Guzma. And I'm assuming they would have played one by now if they had their Guzma left. So, yes, okay, good. This is where things turn around, guys. And we got QE, so we can do Verdict, so that's good. This is where things maybe turn around for the better. We're definitely going to put that DC on top for Zygarde. Alright, so here is where the game hopefully turns around. And before, he actually had no way to retreat. But this is where I can turn things around. So he'll knock me out. And... Well, I don't know, actually. Oh, no, we can't do Verdict. I just realized we can't even do Verdict. I forgot it's two Fightings. Why did I think I could put a D? So, I mean, I could get a Fight Energy off the prizes. Okay, I didn't rip. If I got a Fight... Oh, my gosh. That was another misplay. I could have gotten a Fight Energy off the prizes. Um, wow, I, I misplayed so hard there. If I did... Well, I didn't get a Fighting, but if I did, I didn't have to get DC, and then I could have gotten Bonnie. Wow. wow. No fightings left, though. How, dude? He definitely got Guzma off those prizes. We can try and stall the Oranguru again. Let's see. He didn't move all the energies to it. Dang. Ah, no fightings left. It's a major rip in the chat, though. See if this works. I could do Cell Connector. Because I'm actually not knocking him out if I do Cell Connector here. But that is my last Guzma. And I can really only use Verdict once in this match. So yeah, that's not even going to work. Okay, um, I think we'll still go into Zygarde anyways. Uh, I doubt he's playing two Ace Rollas. I don't want to risk it, though. Smooth over for Bonnie. Just in case. I mean, I guess we'll do Cell Connector. Again, we aren't KOing him. If he is playing Ace Rolla, I, I, I don't know, though. I really don't think my opponent's going to be playing that many Ace Rollas. I mean, they might just have Guzma, though. I might be overthinking, obviously. But, I don't know if they're playing two Ace Rollers or not. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. We'll see. No, they got the energy rip. No. Dang, dude. We could have played that so much better, though, with that acro bike misplay. Um, yeah. Well, I don't know. I still couldn't do Verdict, so I guess it doesn't matter that I lost, but I don't know. Maybe if I did Cell Connector, um, I don't know, man. 
I just didn't play that very well. But, uh, yeah, well, uh, obviously I got another game coming up, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, here we go, guys. We are going to do another game, and I'm going to get another friend this time, so we're going to mix it up. Um, that was a bit of a... I mean, it was an unfortunate loss, but I guess I couldn't really do anything in the long run thanks to the fighting being prize You know, whatever. I think it was a fine enough game. And uh, we'll see how we go here. We are going to be up against Mini UK English, a good friend of mine. By the way, this guy's YouTube channel. Um, make sure you guys go check it out. Um, so yeah, let's let's see how we do. And all right, we lose a coin flip. Um, I know what I am playing against. I am playing against an Empoleon deck, uh, which is, yeah, mixes things up a little bit, which is fine. Um, so that's good. Uh, but I'm, I'm feeling okay here. Verdict might not be as good in this matchup, unfortunately, but other than that, you know, this match should go good. So let's see if we can get a good start this time on my last game where things went a little weird. Uh, we got a Slugma Star. We do have Tate Lies in our hand. Any fighting? I mean, I could maybe go Baby Buzzwool. If I want, I can go Baby Buzzwool. Ooh, my opponent starts with Tapu Lele GX. That sucks. Oh, they're going to do Crash or Wake. My boy. My boy, Crash or Wake. Okay, so my opponent... Um, okay, I guess why I, I meant to say is my Brooklyn Hill will benefit my opponent, so that's one problem with putting in play, but I'm going to need it. Um... Let's see. It looks like blinged out deck too. Interesting. I need to get more Fuller Tain Lizes. I need to get more Secret Rare Nest Balls, but they are insanely expensive for some reason. It's actually crazy. It's crazy. That's fine though. Uh, we'll see what my opponent is able to do here. They're gonna play an Ultra Ball. Gonna get rid of Stretcher and Primplup. So I mean, I guess they got double Piplup. So I guess it's okay to put Brooklyn Hill down again with Empoleon though. It does rely on both benches being full, so we have to be careful how big our bench gets. So, just a thing. Just a thing to note. We're actually, no, we are going to need Dionysi, especially because um, Empoleon has 160 HP. Well, no, actually, maybe we don't need Dionysi because I don't think we're ever going to knock him out Lance Rave. Ooh, a Lapras. So, Verdict will be relevant in this matchup, so that's good. So, Brooklyn Hill for Zygarde GX, or actually, no, let's just grab Rock Rock. Let's... Like and rock all the way. Um, we can hold the hand, or we can do Taint Liza. I think I'm gonna hold the hand. I feel safe with that hand. I like it. We can Ultra Ball next turn. Obviously, my opponent's playing Broken Hill. We're not gonna need Broken Hill. We can dump that in the discard pile. Grab Macargo. Maybe we can top deck Macargo, and then I can grab a Ranguru instead. That would be a lot better. Then I can grab Switch or DC. Well, that's fine. Um, they're going to put a Prism Star Volk down, so we're definitely going to see how this game plays out for us. We'll see. We shall see. Alright, so we're going to attach the Tapu Lele GX. They're going to do Ultra Ball. Going to get rid of, yep, Brooklyn Hill. And it looks like another Ultra Ball for a Perm Club. So they're going to slowly build their board up. So that's the thing. They're going to Perm Prim Club down. So what we can do is we can potentially, uh, well, if we can find like a switch here, I can knock that thing out. Ooh, Lily top deck. Okay. This might work in our favor. Uh, we'll bring out the Primplup because we're going to want to target Primplup with Lycanroc here. We'll play the Brooklyn Hill for probably Zygarde GX. Either Zygarde or Buzz. I guess Zygarde's fine. Right? Yeah. And we'll Ultra Ball, and how many DCs do we got? We got all four. So I'm actually going to get a switch here off of the Macargo. I'm going to get a switch off Macargo, and then I'm going to Lily for six. And I am going to hope that we hit a DCE to knock out the Primpla. That's going to be the play. If this, if this pays off, this is going to be a really big turn. And nice, we got it. And we got Nest Ball. Don't know if I really want to play that right now, though. So yeah, we'll knock him out with the Bloodthirsty Eyes. I mean, I guess I could do Nest Ball. I don't really need it, though. It's not much I'm looking for. Again, I don't want to fill my bench up. Not saying my opponent will knock me out next turn. It is possible, though. They pull off, like, an Aqua Patch, Rare Candy combo. So it's probably for the best account. Again, I need to be careful how, much my, how big my bench gets. 
My opponent can fill their bench up all the day, but we gotta be careful how big our bench goes, so that's fine. There's another Zygarde, which is fine. If I would have Nest Balled, probably would have been for another Rockruff. So we'll see. My opponent might energy drive me here and, you know, take a nice chunk of my health out, and then I can dangerous rogue them. So we're gonna do Cynthia, okay. Let's see if they get any Empoleons down. They are down two Piplups, though. They're probably either going to need Rescue Stretcher or they're going to need to hit Rare Candy. We'll find out, though. Um, sadly, there's no way to combo a Knockout on, on like, a Guzma KO here. If I can maybe... If I, if I had like, Acro Bike, I could Acro Bike and go that route. And then Knockout, you know, maybe Piplup. But I have no way to treat anything on the bench. So we're probably just going to have to Dangerous Rogue is active here. And in the meanwhile, maybe build a Zygarde and hope for the best. I doubt my opponent, ooh, he's actually making me switch, which works perfectly fine, because if I do end up drawing a, if I draw, like, an Acro Bike here, even an Ultra Ball would be good, because I can Ultra Ball maybe thin my hand down. I can definitely hit a Guzma, and again, we want to just keep KOing those Piplups, keep preventing Empoleon from hitting the board, and that seems fine. They're going to energy switch, it looks like they're going to just hit me here, and I'm kind of glad they made me switch, because I, you know, Lycan Rock won't take any damage here, which is kind of nice, so... They'll energy drive me for 40. Not doing a whole lot. Let's see what we draw. No, we drew a choice for Grip. So we'll put down Zygarde. I gotta be careful what I bench. But I think we'll just smooth over here. And we're definitely gonna get that Guzma for next turn. Even if he puts an Empoleon down, I just wanna bring that up and just hit it. We'll Kukui. Okay. And we'll pass. I was kinda hoping we would hit a... Uh, an energy for Zygarde on the bench. That would have been ideal, but it's fine. We could do it next turn if we really want. If I had double smooth over, that'd be nice. But I'm fine with doing what I am right now. Ooh, my opponent's going to switch out into Piplup. Okay, so do they have Empoleon and energy switches? I don't know if they'd have enough room. They got Again, the problem with stage 2 is they got to play a lot of items. No, they are going to hit a Guzma, though. Which messes up that play entirely, actually. I guess I can Claw Slash him and then finish him off with Cell Connector, which is fine. I think we will go for the knockout with Dangerous Rope, though. I think that's fine. Yikes, they are putting a lot. Ooh, I got 50 HP left. Wow. I underestimate how much damage. And we topped the Kaguz. I didn't even have to do Smooth over. Bruh. Okay. I'm going to do Cephalokis here. And... I mean, because we have the Macargo combo, I'm actually going to get a Fighting. If I play the DC, he might play an Enhanced Hammer. I don't know. I'm always paranoid of that card. I'm always paranoid of that. So we'll do Cephalokis. We'll attach the Fighting to Zygarde. And yeah, we'll Dangerous Rogue him here. I could also Claw Slash and then finish him off with Cell Connector. But Dangerous Rogue is a better play. We'll just get this Lele off the board. Now he has nothing that can attack me and probably knock me out. Unless he hits like a Stretcher Primplup Choice Band. That could knock me out. Other than that, Lycanarch should be safe. And then next turn we can, you know, probably do Guzma. Um, do South Connector, maybe bring out a Ranguru, broke a hill for the Ironsea, knock out a Ranguru, hurt his draw support a little bit, that seems good. He does have Stretcher, so he's off, he's gonna, he's gonna do the Shuffle Play, though. No, he's actually gonna get Lele. He could judge me here, potentially. I mean, my hand is massive, so he could do a judge. That would suck, I am gonna lose the Guzma play that I wanna do. We'll see if he does the judge or not, though. No copycat, oh my goodness, my hand is huge. Okay, so, yeah, they're going to be able to draw what? Three, six... Yeesh, they're going to get eight cards here. This is definitely going to get them Rare Candy and Polion, so that's definitely going to be a thing. Um, They do have a big Retreater in the active. A two Retreat cost is pretty heavy, so if they don't have a Switch, they're actually going to be stuck here, and maybe, just maybe, we survive the turn. If Lycanroc can live, this would be really good, so I'm actually hoping Lycanroc survives. They're going to do Rare Candy and Empoleon. If they have Switch and Energy, it's it's all over. Oh, they're putting it back in their hand. Do they have it? Do they have the Knockout? Do they actually have the KO here? No, they don't. Okay, good. All right. And we got Diancy, which is good. So I actually can do the Cell Connector play I want to do. But then I have to put something else on my bench, and I don't like that. I might just Claw Slash him. He might not even be able to retreat. I think I want to hold Kikui, especially for Empoleon. 
I could Guzma up the Volk here and just uh, hit it also, maybe get some early damage on it. I could knock out Piplup also with the Dioxy Plague, but again, probably for the best that I smooth over here. What am I looking for? I think we'll get a DCE for next turn, then hope we don't get judged. And we can we can take a nice chunk of his health out with uh, date with uh, Claw Slash, which is pretty good. Uh, we could probably burn these DCs. They're honestly not that good. We're gonna hold the QE. I might need that for Verdict again. If I don't want to put too many Pokemon on my bench, so we might need to save Dionysus for later. So it's probably better hit him here. Ooh, Guzma. Ooh, he's gonna bring out the Zygarde. That will knock me out. It's all the Pokemon on the bench, right? So yeah, 60. That's I don't even want to do the math. Okay, right on the dot. That's fine, though. It's not dealing with the two threats. Now, this is good. Hold on. DCE. Alright, we're going to have to play Dionysi down to get a knockout here with Zygarde, but that's fine. Yeah, we're going to have to do Dionysi and Kikui to take him out. It's fine, though. In fact, we are definitely going to get back. We're going to go Bonnie next turn, 100%. I doubt Zygarde will get KO'd. Who knows? It's possible. I doubt it, though. We got to do this, but... This will mean we can Lance Wraith him. And I, I had to do all that to knock him out. It is what it is. There's a Cynthia. Not bad. And next turn, we win the game, most likely. Right? Do we win? I, if I didn't use my switch, I would have won because I could have actually. No, never mind. Okay, maybe maybe we don't win next turn. Never mind. Ooh, Yilma, this is gonna get rid of my hand. Ooh, this could be a big big turn for my opponent. Let's see what uh, we get here. They get heads, and if we get tails, this could be tragic. Okay, we got heads too. Ooh, we still got Bonnie back, which is good. We got a rank Guru, which is nice. Again, even if we did get tails, we still have smooth over to guarantee us out of the walk for one turn, so it's fine. Uh, they are gonna rare candy into an Empoleon. Wait, do we win? Yeah, we win. We just hold the ball for Lele, knock out Lapras. All right, never mind, we win. Uh, we'll give my opponent the well-played. Um, pretty good match. Um, otherwise, though, this matchup can be a little challenging to rank group. I mean, we have games, it doesn't really matter. Um, this matchup can be really challenging um, because, of course, non-GX attackers like Empoleon can hit you hard. And a deck like this, you need to have room for Lycanroc. Dionysus a big player for the one-shots. Macargo's going to need to be in play a lot of the time, so... This matchup is kind of challenging, but uh, we were able to overcome it pretty nicely. So we'll give my opponent the GGs. And uh, yeah, we were able to win that last game, which is pretty good. And that'll wrap the day's PCGO video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to Hell Road to 4,000 subs. Shout out to both my opponents there. They're really good friends of mine. And again, make sure to check out both of their channels, actually. I think they both have YouTube channels. In fact, you know what? I'll link them both in the description below. So yeah, go check them out. Um, and yes, if you are still playing Breakthrough and on, on the ladder, please stop. You can hold it out for two days. Please just stop, just stop. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Zygarde, Lycanroc, what do you like? I like the deck. I think if I were to change it, I probably do want to add a Field Blower. But other than that, I like this deck quite a bit. I think it's a very strong deck. I think it's good in the post station. Bit of a rough grass matchup. But other than that, the deck is pretty solid in my opinion. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in another video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Bye.